Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. During this video, we will show you how to hook up an Ethernet IP JXC91 controller and electric actuator to the PLC of your choosing. During the video, we will show you the equipment that you need and we'll demonstrate step by step exactly how to assemble them. In the end, we'll turn on the power and make sure that everything works. Let's get started. These are the parts and part numbers that you will need in order to connect your JXC91 electric actuator and your PLC. These are the tools that you will need to hook everything up. You'll need a PC with drive access and Ethernet connectivity to complete this configuration. Now let's set up the hardware. First, verify your JXC91 and actuator are a matched pair. Then, see the operation manual for secure mounting details. Next, strip and wire the power supply plug provided with the controller. On the other end, strip and wire the leads back to the power source accordingly. Polarity does matter. Then, plug into the power port connection at the face of the JXC91. Also, make sure the JXC91 is grounded. Next, connect the PLC to the network. In our case, using Ethernet IP, we need an RJ45 connection on this end and an RJ45 connection at the switch. Then, make the field bus cable connection using either of the JXC91 upper face RJ45 connectors. And on the other end, plug in the RJ45 connector to the switch. Now, insert the encoder and motor plugs to the JXC91. Then, attach the actuator cable and pigtail connectors. Then, pull the shroud over the link. Connect the communication cable up with the conversion unit plug on one end, the USB cables to the PC on the other end. Next, plug the RJ45 jack into the conversion cable adapter. Finally, plug the conversion cable into the round SI connector. We're ready to energize the PLC and PC, the switch, the actuator, and the JXC91. Turn on the power. And let's look for lights in communication. We have them here, and here, and there. We hope you found this video useful. Look for the next video where we show you how to configure the Ethernet IP JXC91.